You've probably heard of Gemini Code Assist, Google's AI-powered coding assistant. It isn't just another autocomplete tool. Imagine having an AI teammate that never gets tired, understands your entire code base, and helps you write, fix, and improve code, all for free. Gemini Code Assist works right inside your favorite editors like VS Code and JetBrains, helping you code faster, cleaner, and with fewer errors. Just describe what you want in simple English, and it can generate full functions, solve bugs, or clean up messy code instantly. When it first launched, it was pretty basic. But in 2024, Google rolled out a major upgrade called the Agent Mode. With the Agent Mode, Gemini acts like a real teammate, handling big coding tasks across your entire project, suggesting changes, and waiting for your approval before touching anything. And there's more. It works with the Gemini CLI, too. That means you can customize it, use it in terminal workflows, and sync settings between the CLI and the extension. Now, before we dive into the exciting stuff, do me a quick favor. Hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps the channel grow and brings you more content like this. All right, let's get started with Gemini Code Assist. For this tutorial, we'll be using the Gemini Code Assist extension inside Visual Studio Code. So let's set it up. First, make sure you have VS Code open. On the left sidebar, click the Extensions icon. In the search bar, type Gemini Code Assist. You'll see the extension show up. It already has over a million installs, so it should be easy to spot. Click Install. And once it's done, you'll notice a new Gemini icon added to the sidebar. Go ahead and click that icon, and boom, you'll land on the welcome screen for Gemini Code Assist. To use the extension, you'll need to sign in with your Google account. Just click Sign In. Then click Open, and select the Google account you want to use. Give it a second, and when you jump back into VS Code, you'll see the main Gemini chat window appear. You can go ahead and close the welcome screen if it's still open. Now here's something important. You might notice that agent mode isn't visible yet. Don't worry. It just needs to be enabled. To do that, we'll need to add a small configuration in VS Code. Use the first link in the description to grab the required JSON line. Once you have it copied, go back to VS Code and press Command plus Shift plus P on Mac or Control plus Shift plus P on Windows. This will open the command palette. And from here, type Open User Settings JSON in the command palette and you'll see the option appear. Click on it. Inside the settings file that opens, just paste the configuration line you copied earlier. That's it. Now save the changes, and you'll see an updating message like this. Once the update finishes, click Reload. And Gemini Code Assist will now be upgraded with Agent Mode enabled. You'll also notice some quick start tips on the screen, like how to use Gemini's commands. Add new MCP servers. Write custom instructions. These tips can really help you get more out of the extension. Now that agent mode is active, let's make the workspace more comfortable. Right-click on the Gemini icon in the sidebar, then click Move to Secondary Sidebar. This moves the Gemini panel to the right side, so your file explorer stays on the left, your code is in the middle, and Gemini sits nicely on the right. Now it's time to see what Gemini Code Assist can really do. Let's put it to the test. For this illustration, I'm going to use a very simple example. One that I believe is both practical and easy to understand for most beginners. We'll be creating a basic calculator using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. It's a straightforward project, but it clearly demonstrates what Gemini Code Assist is capable of. That said, trust me, it can handle much more complex tasks. To interact with an AI agent like Gemini, you need an open workspace or folder. 
So first, let's create one. I'll go to File, Open Folder. Then create a new folder on the desktop. Let's name it Calculator and click Select Folder. I'll go ahead and trust the authors of the files. Now we're not using GitHub Copilot in this case. We're working with Gemini Code Assist. You can close any welcome messages that appear. Inside this workspace, I'm going to paste a prompt. If you'd like to use the same one, I'll have it pinned in the comments below. Once I paste it, I'll click Send. Gemini will begin by analyzing the project brief, defining the scope, revising the layout, and more. It will also provide a summary of what it plans to do, along with any corrections or suggestions. If you're happy with it, just click Accept. It will start by generating the HTML file, then move on to the CSS. You'll need to accept each step, including the script file. And just like that, the calculator is created. To use it, simply open the HTML file in your browser. But before that, let's take a quick look at what we've got. We have the index.html file with the calculator structure, the script file for the logic, and the CSS for styling. Now let's see if it actually works. I'll open the HTML file using Live Server. At first glance, the styles look great. Let's test the functionality. A few basic calculations, and everything works smoothly. Multiplication checks out, and every button appears to function properly. And that's how you can add Gemini Code Assist to Visual Studio Code and use it effectively. As I mentioned, it also performs very well on larger, more complex projects, provided you have a clear goal and understanding of what you're building. That's it for today. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss future sessions. See you in the next one.